Hello, my name is Calvin Daniel Kassab. I'm coming to you from Rochester Hills, Michigan, and this is the history of film special effects. Fred Ott's sneeze, recorded in 1884, is one of the first known instances of sound with film. Since their introduction into film, sound and sound effects have evolved rapidly. The Santa Claus from 1898 is one of the first known uses of split-screen technique, showing two stories simultaneously. This was done through a process called superimposition, taking an image and placing it on top of an already existing image. Now in the old days of filmmaking, this was done manually oftentimes through a process called multiple exposure. This was used in the 1901 version of the movie Scrooge, first to portray Jacob Marley's face as the knocker on the door, and secondly to portray the ghost of Christmas past. The pioneer of many special effects techniques, George Millier's 1902 film A Trip to the Moon is one of the most famous early examples of the jump cut or stop motion effect. However, he had been using the same trick years earlier in The Vanishing Woman from 1896. One of the first known uses of mechanical animals, or animatronics, is from the 1907 film Rescued from the Eagle's Nest. Films like this paved the way for Steven Spielberg's 1996 animatronic blockbuster Jurassic Park. In the late 1910s, filmmakers began hand coloring individual frames of film. The process of color has evolved drastically over the years. Animation had been around for many years. But it wasn't until the release of Snow White in 1937 that the industry really took notice. In fact, it won Walt Disney an Honorary Academy Award. I believe miniatures to be one of Hollywood's grandest tricks, because they take the very tiny and detailed and turn it into a massive, epically scaled vision. Two of the best examples of this in film history are Fritz Lang's Metropolis from 1927 and Ridley Scott's Blade Runner from 1982. Claymation was a process that used clay miniatures and extremely tedious stop-motion photography. Ray Harryhausen was considered by many to be the greatest in this field. He pioneered a technique called dynamation and has inspired filmmakers like James Cameron and George Lucas. Green screens and blue screens came about in the 1940s and 1950s, an incredible leap for filmmaking as actors and actresses can find themselves in fantastical, completely made-up environments. The short-lived gimmick of 3D in the 1950s is now experiencing a rebirth with incredible CGI 3D films like Avatar and The Avengers. The film Mary Poppins from 1964 was famous for its mixture of live action with animated characters. This technique would be used again in famous films like Who Framed Roger Rabbit from 1988 and Space Jam from 1996. The first feature film to use computer-generated image, or CGI, was the Andromeda Strain. Since then, CGI has been the biggest innovation in special effects. The first feature film to have motion capture included was Total Recall. Since then, it has been used to give lifelike movement to many memorable characters. Perhaps the most famous is Gollum, the creepy guy from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Let's talk about interpolation. Interpolation is the process of using sets of known data points to estimate or find the points in between. This process, along with wire-hanging actors, CGI, multiple cameras shooting simultaneously, and motion capture, all came together to create some of the unforgettable scenes from the Matrix trilogy. 